I brought up Kevin Taylor before relating to his his and his wife's belief that they're innocent and I'm not contesting that here today. What I am asking for is a explain a bit of the sort of thing that happens in the Philippines um, if you get stuck in the prison system and, and the other thing is to see if anyone actually wanted to help them. The, the first thing is the Philippine system will eat your cash like no tomorrow. Um, it's normally a war of attrition. Uh, if you're against the state, you're going to lose. Um, but if you're against a small business, if you've got more money, you can win. Um, it's, it's as simple as that. And they've already served years in the Philippines jail before trial. And now they're being found guilty, even though I, I can't... I'm, I'm not getting into the case itself, but... Um, the point being is don't expect justice to be swift and uh, fair. That's, that's all I'll say on that subject. Um, because from people I've met and some of the experiences that they've had, I've seen court documents, I've seen manipulation, etc., etc. I don't trust the system, let's put it that way. And the people I've spoken to on other cases, because I haven't actually met Kevin or his wife, but I do know some of the people that have been trying to get a bit of financial support to them. So, first thing I want to say is whether they're guilty or not, I would say you don't know because I don't, and at the same time, there's a good chance they are innocent. So, I would just say Shh, I'm not even going to discuss it. The next thing is life in the Philippines jails is a nightmare unless you've got. A good amount of cash they, you, they'll charge you for everything um, from a single cell otherwise you end up sharing with like 10 50 100 people in a room um, and be mixed with all sorts and one of the problems they've had is financially they've run out there is no there is no money coming in um, Kevin's par parents are also pretty much bankrupt uh, trying to fight the case so from that point of view, they're still going to be stuck in a Philippines jail for at least a year. Um, probably two, but up to a year, you know, say a year. Um, but what they could do with is some financial support for things like medical care. Um, things like scabies is rife in Philippines jails. As such, it's something Kevin's currently dealing with, as well as suffering with depression no surprise there um, and a recent move has also for his wife has recently uh, caused some problems financially although it wasn't expensive in our terms it was less than a hundred pounds if you've got no income you've got no income so what I'm gonna say here if you do want to donate um, to help them financially and it's not big amounts of money I'll be honest with you I've already asked um, about donating myself because it's not about being innocent or guilty on this because I don't think they are guilty for a start but it's more to the, do with the fact that they're literally rotting away in jail um, with very little support externally and as usual the embassy cons consulate whatever um, won't do anything unless you're a Prince Andrew or something um, or there's something in it for the British embassy so they're on their own. The only people they have is people like you, me, and the other expats around the globe that have some involvement with the Philippines or people that are just charitable and want to help. So I will just say, if you want to donate, put a comment at the bottom because I'm still waiting for the information on where to donate. Um, but I'm going to donate some myself. There's no benefit to this at all for me it's just that if I was in that situation I would hope there'd be people like me that would actually be willing to dip in their pockets to help me through a pretty terrible time uh, where they've lost everything um, so I'll leave it at that thanks for watching